Hello and welcome to From the Roots Up. Today, we're trying something new for us. We're gonna check out Butcher Box. All right, if you have heard of Butcher Box or maybe other similar companies and have always wondered how it works and is it any good, we're gonna try to answer that question for you. Uh, maybe not all at once, but we ordered our first butcher box and thought we'd bring you along for the ride. This is not a sponsored video. We, uh, we went and did this, but uh, we do have an affiliate link um, with them. If we like it, you'll find that link in the comments below. Um, but we're going to check this out. So it's an interesting process. Everything is made available to just be shipped to you these days. And now that includes um, our meat as well. And, but it's not just um, like going to Amazon, pop on, order a big tub of meat, and then it shows up at your door. This is actually a subscription service. And uh, so the idea is you decide, I like their meat, I like their cuts, I like the way it works, and I would like this to show up on a regular basis so that I don't have to worry about chasing down sales at the grocery store. And one of the reasons we were really excited to try Butcher Box is the quality of their meat. We've been, if you've been with us for a while, you know that we've been trying to substitute out and eat a lot more healthy and natural. And one of the next things kind of on my list of, to switch out was our meat and really focusing on getting grass fed, health, healthily raised meat that was gonna be more nutritious for us. And it's really hard to find that kind of meat in our area. We don't have a lot of stores, we don't have a lot of options we can drive two hours to the city and shop at Whole Foods or Costco but that's a long drive and a lot of gas and we have one ranch out here and I did check those prices and we'll talk about that as I go that does grass-fed grass finished beef and that's important to get it grass finished is different than grass fed grain finished so um, we were really excited to try this and see what a high quality meat um, subscription would look like if it was worth it. Now, I definitely know this is not cheaper than going to Walmart, buying their absolute cheapest cuts of meat, um, but you're not comparing apples to apples there. So we wanna make sure when we're looking at this that we really are comparing high quality grass-fed, pasture-raised meat. And so we're excited to give this a try. We're gonna taste some of it, I think, and pull it out and see. Not raw, I'm not no. just gonna bite into it and let you know. But <laughs> So before we unbox, this is not a surprise to us what's in here. Um, when you set up your, uh, your purchase, your subscription, I guess, um, you pick the size of a box. There's six item or 12 item. And then uh, we went ahead and got the 12 item because we're trying it out. We want to try a little bit of everything. And uh, you can tell them, surprise me, if you're braver than we are, um, or you, you have a selection of six or 12 cuts and you go through, the weights are gonna be different uh, on your options so that the price stays the same. So you can budget, this is how much we wanna spend on this kind of meat. And maybe you budget, well, we're gonna get these kinds of things, but I'm never gonna get my ground beef from them, or I'm never gonna get my chicken from them because we're raising our own chickens but we want steaks and, and roasts and things sent. Um, maybe you don't want the pork chops because you're raising your own pigs. Uh, maybe you don't want any of it because you're raising everything and we wanna come learn how you do that. But so we, Christy did go and, and build out her order. She chose the exact items and uh, we have first thing, a little shipping label, a little sticker in here that also shows. You can log into your account online and see everything. Uh, we've got a confirmation here, but let's go ahead and see what these look like. Um, so we've got our dry ice that there's not hardly very much left. I'm just gonna take this whole thing out. Uh, if you're not familiar with dry ice, you gotta be careful. Um, if I hold it very long with bare skin, it'll burn. We don't want to do that. And one of the things that I'm really pleased to see, this has been setting out all day. Some, we have gotten mill delivery services in the past. We live in a rural area, and so sometimes it's really hard to get things fresh. And sometimes when we get meals delivered, 
they'll be melted by the time we get them. And this, I mean, solid. All of these things look super solid and there was still dry ice in the box. So I'm very pleased just at the outset opening it up. Yeah, the, the, the box has this insulated um, barrier on all sides, close it in. Uh, and these, these are frozen. So let's go through and share with you. Now this is more than 12 items. I don't think I mentioned that before. You, you pick your six or 12, which is your normal subscription. Uh, and then you can add stuff and they have sales. So you can browse every two weeks or four weeks or eight weeks, however often you set your subscription. Um, you can go in and adjust your order each time, uh, make changes, or if you want the same thing every time, they'll just keep sending you. Here's the, here's the 40 pounds of steaks that you like to eat and two weeks later we'll send you 40 more. <laughs> Um, but we, we did take advantage of some of the sale items again, because we were trying to experience a, a broad selection to see, is it all good? Is some of it good? And here's when we might choose to use it. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. First thing is some pork ribs. Um, now I will quickly say on the web account also, when they send you your box, um, if you get something in here, now ribs typically go in the smoker for us, uh, not always, but if you get something and you're like, I don't know what to do with that, they give you recipe ideas right on the website. So probably you could even look at that before you select it um, and see what can you do with it. But they, they make that information available. So the first thing we've got is a pack of ribs. Um, Looks like the pork all made it to the top. There is now there were two separate kinds of ribs. I don't know if they're both in here, but these are St. Louis ribs, if that matters. Oh, okay. She's the one that ordered. I, I said this isn't a surprise. <laughs> it is kind of a surprise to me, but it's not a surprise. If you order it, you know what you're getting. Um, we've got pork chops here, and it looks like there's multiple packs. Um, this one is tri tips. Uh, Tri-tips is part of the sirloin, and again, there's recipes online if you're not sure what to do with some of these. Next, we have a brisket to 2.75, almost three pounds of brisket, and we knew that up front, but I'm just looking at the labels. Which I'm really glad. So we buy huge briskets sometimes, but it is really nice to have a smaller cut of brisket. That we can hey, just sit down and eat yeah. instead of sticking leftovers back in the refrigerator. Um, all right, we have some gulf shrimp and there's two packages of that. And so that'll be a separate meal. We have, there's still lots of stuff in here. Um, here's the other ribs she was talking about. This one, having a hard time, oh, down in the, see, I'm looking up here, like where's the, Bo uh, pork baby back ribs. I'll, I'll learn how to read these labels eventually. Um, bacon. And this is nitrate free bacon. We have a lot of trouble finding nitrate free bacon here. And when we do find it online or something, it's crazy expensive. This was actually one of their sale items. So I thought, hey, let's try it. I was excited. So it's, it's um, I don't know. It's exciting. <laughs> Applewood smoked. All right, next we have pork sirloin roast, boneless. Um, now the label, they must print these labels custom for the order. It tells the poundage, this is two and a quarter pounds, but it also tells that there are two pieces of this. And so this is one and here is two. So we've got two of those to try. Next is um, oh, beef cap. So we had the tri-tips, which is part of the, this one, I think, which is part of the sirloin, the bottom part of the sirloin. This is the cap, the top of the sirloin. And uh, again, recipes, a lot of this, I'm gonna have to get the smoker ready uh, to go because a lot of these things are gonna be good in the smoker. Um, here is a pork boneless butt. This is three and a half pounds. Um, and this is, we like pulled pork. We might smoke this one too and uh, have some pulled pork sandwiches one of these days. Or, you know, we can do that in the Instapot. That's true. Um, yeah. On a bad weather day, we'll keep that all inside and that'll still be delicious. And one of the reasons 
but this feels like a lot of meat. But one of the reasons we got the 30 pound pack was because I like the idea of buying meat once and it lasting the whole month and us not having to go to the store. This is gonna cut down on those trips a lot and hopefully end up actually saving us money because we're not making extra trips to the grocery store all the time. All right, next up we have, mm, these Ooh, are our New good. York <laughs> grass-fed beef strip loin steak, New York strip. Um, those will be great on the grill. We only got two of those, sorry girls. Y'all can have mac and cheese that night. Date night. <laughs> <laughs> Let's okay. just send them away. This little guy's hiding in the corner. Um, These were our steak free. Steak tips. Okay. So this was because when we signed up, there was a deal going on. And that comes and goes at different times. Um, our deal for this year is a free pack of steak tips in each box, right? In each box, In each yeah. box. Um, and so different, different deals going on, different reasons to, to maybe uh, select or jump in at different times. I think just a heads up, if you're thinking about Butcher Box, mid-April, I think April 14th or 15th, they're starting their ground beef for life of your subscription. So every box will have two pounds of ground beef in it in addition to whatever. And so those that are that last the life of your subscription seem like a really good deal. Yeah, so if you watch this video really soon, uh, <laughs> that's 2024, you may be able to, to get in that if you watch this later. Uh, just check their website and see. They're always um, having a deal. Yeah, there's always, there's always fun stuff on there. Um, we've still got a ways to go here. We've got a whole chicken, um, whole body frozen chicken. That's a simple, whole chicken, that's what it says. That's what it is. Um, Mary's heirloom chickens. We've got two of these big packs. These are chicken tenders, a um, little over three pounds, and there's a whole other just under three pounds. So about six pounds total, it looks one like. One is chicken breasts and one is chicken tenders. Ah, so if you could read, it <laughs> says chicken breast on this one and chicken tenders, and so that we will cook those different ways so this is our spread this is as, as christy said we um have a hard time well not a hard time it's easy there's places that we can go <laughs> um but it's either far away or it's pretty expensive and when you add in gas and, and things like that um having something just sent to the house if this month is busy we're gone more than we thought we were and that next shipment is um it's going to come a little too soon you hop onto the website and you say delay two weeks or four weeks or delay it six days like you can pick a date yeah. right to, to kind of restart it so you can control that flow but man like it, as long as it tastes good and we're happy yeah. with it um super simple not going all over the place, chasing down, oh, we were gonna do this, but we ran out of this, quick, run to the store and get some of these. If we're gonna have somebody over and we know, wow, we've got all those chicken breasts, uh, let's pull them out and do something with them. So that's gonna be great, but you do have control over that subscription flow, or if you just wanna be done, you go in, you click a few buttons, and uh, they might entice you with an extra deal, to keep you around you'll click that button once in a while and just see they might say hey if, if you don't cancel yet we'll throw in a, a free or a cheap bacon and you might check and, and toss something else in there for once in a while but if you don't want them to keep coming then it is simple to just turn it off and uh, and go on about your business so i guess the question is is this a good value or mm. not um, and I did a lot of research, like I said at the beginning, about what is available in our area specifically. And there's not a whole lot available in our rural area. We have a, a cattle farmer that does really amazing grass-fed, grass-finished beef down the road, and they have great prices on ground beef. So if we don't often buy a lot of ground beef because we have a freezer full of deer, but when we do, that will be a better option for us than um, getting it from butcher box and using up one of our 12 spots, unless they just happen to have a good I was gonna say, unless they show up on sale and then right. we could stock up a little um, bit. But they're, they're 
prices for their other things are really incredibly expensive and just out of our budget. I would the the local one. The local yeah, one, yeah. yeah. So um, so this is going to be a better option for us. And they only have beef, so this is an excellent option for getting pork and getting chicken and some of those other things. Now, eventually, we actually, if you hear the peeping over there, <laughs> we have some meat chickens over there in the incubator or in the brooder um, that we're going to start raising. We We've just kind of, we're just getting our setup going with the chickens and things. We've done meat chickens in the past, but not here at this new house. And um, so eventually when we get our chickens up and running, like Lance said, if you've got chickens, then you can shift your, your thing over to the other cuts of meat. And so I guess the answer to, is this a good value is it depends on what's available around you. And it depends on what your goals are, because if your goals are just to buy the absolute dirt cheapest meat that you can, this is not for you. You can go to Walmart and you can get the huge rolls of ground meat for a lot cheaper. But if you are really concerned about starting to eat healthily and, and good quality meats, this really is a great option. If you don't have a lot of stuff around you like we don't, um, I would say first check and see if you have local farmers in your area. Um, but this is a great option if you don't have a lot of options. So the next step for us is to cook something up and let you know what we think. Now we're not going to wait and cook all of this before we, we upload our review. Uh, so obviously everything is going to be a little different. Um, but I think tomorrow we're going to start, you know what, we can do some bacon for breakfast. Um, and then we'll do some pork chops. And then maybe, maybe Sunday we'll put a roast in the crock pot. That'll That's give awesome. us a, a couple of different things to, to give our opinion on. Um, but we like the idea of it. And that's why we signed up and had them ship us a tub of meat. Um, we like the, the efficiency. It got here really fast. Yeah. Um, it was packaged well. Everything is in good shape. Uh, it's all still frozen. So um, next thing is going to be that taste test. And we will let you know how it goes. Um, again, that affiliate link is down below. So now we just need to get everything except what we're eating tomorrow out to the deep freeze. And we'll be back when it's time to cook. All right, so we fried up our bacon this morning. We're not setting down to a, a full breakfast spread. We just wanted to um, have everybody take a piece and see if we like it. Of course, it's hard to find bad bacon, but I have had some not great bacon before. So we, uh, we're all gonna take a piece and just give an honest feedback. Is it gross? Is it too salty? Did I cook it too long and burn it? Pretty sure I didn't do that. And just tell us what you think. So everybody grab one. Mmm, delicious. That's good. I like it. So yeah, it's pretty good. Definitely, definitely worth ordering and eating again. And again, this was um, sugar-free, nitrate-free bacon. So it's like the healthy kind that you can have on Whole30 or any kind of Whole Foods diet. This is some of the best bacon ever. Let's move on to our next meal then. All right, here is the tri-tip. Michaela is gonna try this for us. A quick sample of our Sunday roast. Mmm, that's yummy. Really good? All right. All right, we're trying the pork chops. Very good. Yeah? Good. Nice and thick pork chops, right? Yeah. So we've tried several of the things from the Butcher Box and the meat was really high quality and we were so pleased and excited. So I wanna talk a little bit about the value that Butcher Box brings to the table. And there are different ways to do Butcher Box like we talked about earlier, but definitely the most cost effective way to do Butcher Box is going to be to get the smaller box 
as small of a box as you can and then add on because they have special member deals that you can add on and things that will allow you to put some cheaper cuts of meat into your box. And when you get those member deals, they're really excellent prices. Um, and so you can save your six or your 12 that you're putting in your box for the most expensive cuts of meat you're getting and then add on those cheaper cuts of meat so you're not wasting your six spots on the, the cheap cuts of meat. When you do that, you get a really good comparable price to pretty much anything you can find that's a comparable type of meat. Like I said before, if you are just in it for the absolute cheapest meat and you don't care about quality, you just want quantity and the lowest price, this isn't for you. But if you want a really decent price on high quality cuts of meat, I would really highly recommend ButcherBox. We have been pleased so far and definitely recommend.